good Saturday afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and their date and time is in the lower right, and basically we'll let you know what Big Brother's up to, and FYI, Karasoft military side, I love you. Karasoft civilian side, you don't have to worry about me, I'm the nicest young man, American raised boy that you're ever going to meet in your life. So anyhow, let's scroll down here and make sure you realize that the idea that it's not just Facebook that pretty much works for the CIA and FBI, which is good, just make sure that none of you are trying to be communists or be spies. So, basically, the government and Google, just like I told you before, government override operations governed legal entities, okay, or whatever else you want to come up for, what you think Google stands for. That's why all the Hollywood people and everything like that put so much money into it, because they knew it was a guaranteed, not going to flop thing, because the idea, they know that you're going to spy on every U.S. citizen 24-7. And yes, FYI, there's a few people at Quantico or somewhere in Big Brother that's going like, I thought we disabled this microphone for the weekend. Well, maybe, maybe not. So anyway, this recording is coming through pretty good. So they'll probably start messing with the sound again on the playback, who knows. So anyway, just look up Karasoff and research Karasoff. There was, an, uh, I think, uh, the same thing that blew in uh, Deep Throat a long time ago. There was a good article on uh, Karasoff. Uh, they tell you a fake story of how they came up with a name. It's just an idea to make sure that in case anybody's ever looking for his daughter, which I love the way that they work, is the idea that they would know because they would be looking for somebody that's looking for somebody that was named Kara. And basically his daughter's probably not named Kara at all. So anyhow, some good information here about the idea of the U.S. Supreme Court will hear Farmer's case against Monsanto. So the idea that at least uh, there's... You know, there is a lot of responsible farmers throughout the grain belt from Ohio to the Midwest, to the Plains, to the West Coast, all the way up to those beautiful fields in Washington State and Oregon. And yes, there is some lovely wheat in California also. So anyway, you got to keep it real. You don't want to eat something that's going to make you walk around like a zombie. So there's a, this is the latest gossip pretty much in the country right here. So I'm going to scroll down through this. Yeah, Vino is a human being besides the data. So this is still data, but there's a lot of twist in here. Yeah, Jimmy is basically gone, okay? So, uh, let your eyes be twisted, but basically this is on the internet. You can find it. I'm just not going to promote it. There's a lot of psychological ass basing in, in these stories every day, but some of it's pretty hilarious. A lot of times, some of this stuff is actually true. So, anyway, I guess everybody wants Jimmy Hoffa back. I guess the unions are pretty much taken in the ass pretty hard. So, uh, I'm in the middle of the road on all that crap. I don't really give a shit. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm basically from the state that's right to work. Everybody's got a right to make a living. So, big brother. Don't get involved in everybody's paycheck. I'll pop over to 2 Minute News in a little bit, but for right now, we got some fresh quakes out in California. Like I said, West Coast is very interesting because if you go look at the Yellowstone graphs, you can pull them up. Uh, I'm sure in the talk groups, somebody will mention them, post on there, can do me a favor and save time. I don't ever have time for posting links. I kind of apologize a little bit. I'll try to see if I can throw the Yellowstone one in. I don't like lying, but I'm human being, and sometimes I've said I'm going to put a link up and then I don't get around to it. I somewhat apologize about that, but I still take time to do all the videos to show you the actual factual data of what's going on. So this is RSOE pretty much showing you what's going on in the world. Just remember to pay attention to all these hazards that we have, okay? Pretty much the way it smells to me all the time. It ends up smelling like a lot of radiation and shit like that. Then we had that sub up here a long time ago that's somewhat of a pretty close presume and assume thing. They have a steam in a river and the idea that they have a sub out on the ocean. Uh, radiation is radiation and it's very flippant dangerous and it's invisible until it gets into water and starts steaming. Okay? So there's lots of hazards around the world. Always want to go hunting down in Africa someday, so a little bothered by that stuff too. So anyway, the world seems to be shaking its ass off pretty good, so let's go look at some earthquake data. And they might have come up with the idea there in the garage with a couple of booze. Basically, somebody for it for somebody. <clears throat> and the only thing that I know that has all these things at its disposal and total control is the government. Because they know where you're at. 
at any time, Google Maps, Analytics, and we all know that basically everything to do with the space agency and everything to do with every military agency uses Google Maps. Okay. So anyway, once you invent something and you're an American citizen, say hello to Big Brother, which is fine. But let's make sure that we keep competition and keep it all, yep, keep those boys rich. Because the idea that if markets go down, your freedom go away. And that would be your freedom of speech. I don't drop names, so you have to go check that stuff out yourself. I'm not lying about dropping names, but I'll give you a little intro into the idea of me helping you out with maybe some finances in the future, maybe open up my own uh, financial advising company. Yahoo is greatly undervalued. Yahoo's worth a fortune, and they make sure that it looks like it's worth nothing hardly pretty much a lot of times. Yahoo's worth a fortune, ladies and gentlemen. And it's always nice to have a sexy lady running the company. Oh yeah, she's not supposed to be the CEO anymore. Yeah. Okay, whatever. So anyway, here's some more names. What they do, who they work for, who they work for. Interesting college, huh, ladies and gentlemen? Here's check out who got kicked out or bought out. So, a little info. So, you know everybody's pretty doing pretty rich because you don't see anybody dead anymore, do you? And that's a good thing for everybody, pretty much. Anyway, feel safe, America. Everybody knows what you're doing. This will be your reading test for the weekend, ladies and gentlemen, to make sure that I'm all talking to intelligent human beings. There was a few people that were intelligent that got a chance to speak on MSNBC over the Friday afternoon or Friday morning. If you can read, you actually know what's going on. Anyway. Oh yeah, this is in English also, see if you don't understand this, this is English, okay? Okay, this is all English, I got. I need to put a space right there. Apologize about that, not really because I just needed to fit it in so you can read it all, okay? I'll just scroll down through the graphs real fast. And here you go. Going through it. A little bit of action. And then you go look at the Yellowstone graphs. I'll try to get the link in here for you for the Yellowstone graphs. And uh, the Yellowstone had a lot of activity yesterday. From about 4 a.m. to, uh, yeah, I'm speaking of Friday, okay, from about 4 a.m. to 1700 hour. And then they basically kind of shut the graphs off. They didn't want you to know what was going on. So it's pretty good action there. And if you pay attention to the last couple of videos, or last night's video, one of the three or so from like yesterday evening, the idea that I... Here's a link for you folks, you should be able to read that, and I'll cut and paste that sucker so that... So we basically, we'll give you that address. And I was at You Know What talk group last night, and basically mentioned to him, and a lot of people know. Basically, you can see that around these graphs, there was action just about everywhere. And what's unusual too is you can imagine the pressure that's building up here in these areas because this is the map of the area and then they show you the graph and you can see over here they've got some good spikes and basically if you just bring these up you click on it okay when you get to the site and it'll bring it up in a window and then you can go back and you can bring up all the graphs you want. You can see how that one is that's very active but these ones are very interesting and Madison is the one and especially since I have some friends that way. I think we all do. We love Yellowstone don't we? Okay, here we go. Visit Montana, folks. 
You don't have to get lost in Montana. It'll basically take your heart away. It is gorgeous. Okay, so here today, it looks like I'm actually getting some pressure readings. This is actually today, I mean, I think now. Yeah, this is today. We got the six going on. Now, this stuff looked as bad as this last night because it had a lot more of this in it also. Now, actually, folks, this black is picking up now. Okay, I'm not sure what frequency that is it's on the band that they do the readings for the shaking off the ground, but because uh, that'll be different, I think, low and high areas in the earth in our electrical magna, and because uh, it all ties together, even though I know what I'm kind of saying is a little bit off. It does tie together. But blue and red were heavy yesterday. Blue, red, and green were really heavy yesterday. Let's go ahead and we'll go and pop back through the ones that I got loaded up. At least I'm wanting to. Okay. And basically, I believe this Park Peak area, folks, for my, you know, out that way, is this stuff was picking up today because this other information that we have here at the other mass, basically the Madison River, which I think I was at already, and yeah, that was at Madison, now let me go back, because it seems to be working better that if I X out of them, and this is what's going on at Park Peak today, this is all today's information, like I say, I'm not getting yesterday's draft, they're keeping it really fresh and updated, which means that they are concerned, because when they weren't really concerned, when it really wasn't too busy, You'd have a three or four day old graph map action, okay? So this is fresh today from Yellowstone. So keep an eye on Yellowstone as you see, basically, if I blew it up more, you can see that we have action everywhere, okay? I don't wanna take time to go to every, but the idea that you're getting it everywhere. We have ink everywhere in the Yellowstone area. Now I'm gonna go to, uh, as you see, there's a little bit of ink on every graph. Let's go ahead and get out of these and I'm going to go over to the telecast and you'll see what I was talking about to some people last night about. Uh, and there's your link there and I'll put it on the video. Okay, I will lock it into the video. Okay. Now I'm already into it, but I'll show you with a quick tool tutorial that I do to make. What I like to look at is we look at the earthquake, we look at the temperatures, and we pick up the radar and satellite overthrow. And I think that's what I put in. I put wildfires on. And then I go down and put the Dunmark on. The new map, in case nobody's used to it yet. Sometimes people will be a little bit like not put their glasses on or something and be looking at the computer and not. And then what you start off with is you click on maps that and then that'll bring all this stuff up. And then to get pretty much the weather and we got fire way up northern BC and our other province up there right along the border, each of them. Uh, and then basically this is what I'm interested in. We know we've had all the California action going, okay? But the I, actual factual is that I just showed you freshness of today, okay? This is what was yesterday. I think they actually read these a little low. Not positive. I could be going a little bit of a out there with that on that. But it's the actual factual that even today I'm showing you action a little bit farther east on the Parker location, okay? So, actual factual, we have all this big circle here, plus we know the ring of fire and everything like that, and then I can bring you up and you also already know about what's going on. And I do also think that you can basically, when you look at the deal, you can start seeing what the chem trailing action looks like. Uh, this isn't, this is probably more than likely, this is all natural here. And don't get me wrong, they could be doing some seeding. But this is fresh here, all these are fresh quakes, but the idea of Alaska is just just won't quit and we got that volcano out there and remember they had up until the 7.8 down in South America uh, but basically you can somewhat see that the trails of more than likely some chem trail here okay weather production here and this is man-made weather you start to see the different height clouds and mother nature's clouds plus man's evaporation that will go up high and not drop uh, gets pushed up here and you see more likely natural here and you can pretty much see the beginnings of seeding here because the planes will only go out so far because of their fuel load and then they'll turn around and come back and we all know where Seattle Tacoma is SeaTac yes so the idea they can come out here and blow that stuff off and, or either come out of Alaska but with winter setting in and colder conditions you know that more than likely this is all getting seeded out of the west coast more than likely SeaTac Spokane whatever so we do have weather modification exists. 
mean, every university from the state that I'm from, right here, is pretty much put their smart brains and kids in.